assalamu alaikum welcome to the next class in the previous class we calculated uh, the vibus of a system and we assumed that there is no mutual coupling between the lines but when there is mutual coupling between the lines the method we which we have used that is known as the direct inspection method of calculating the vibus is no more valid for that case we need to do it by using the bus incidence matrix So this type of method is used when there is a mutual coupling between the lines. Let us assume this is an element, preliminary element, which shows <clears throat> a current source in parallel with that element. And these two E or uh, we can say S, uh, sorry, R and S are the two nodes and they are connected by a branch whose admittance is given by YRS, which is the reciprocal of ZRS. By assuming a current flowing from ER, from E, to, sorry, from R to S is IRS, and we have a current source known as GRS. It is flowing into this branch like this. So the total current flowing through this branch will be definitely IRS plus GRS. The voltage between R and S will be VRS, which is ER minus ES, where ER is the voltage of this node with respect to some reference. And ES is the voltage of this S node with respect to some reference. I have also named it like this. ER is the voltage of bus R. ES is the voltage of bus S. YRS is the admittance of the branch connected between bus R and S. IRS is the current flowing from bus R to S. GRS is the source current flowing from bus R to S. And VRS is the branch voltage that is connected between R and S. So, from this, this IRS, this is plus, plus JRS will be equal to YRS into VRS. That is the total current. We can say it is actually KCL at this point that has been used. IRS plus JRS, that will be equal to this. Uh, uh, these currents, the summation of current will be the current flowing through this. They are related by this admittance the voltage that is YRS VRS for a single branch so in general we can write it as this will be I in matrix form this will be G in matrix form it is equal to Y into V I'll show you how this come so this is for when we have a multi branch system and multi node system this can be related like this I'll show it like this let us say we have a simple system uh, in this we have four branches and sorry five branches and four buses and each branch can be related by this equation which we have already shown where r and s a representation of the different buses this is let's say bus r and bus s so same way this is the current flowing through the branch which is connected between bus 1 and bus 2 we can say this in y12 so i12 R in this case is 1, S in this case is 2. These are two buses. I12 plus J12 is equal to Y12 and V12. Here I have represented R as 1, S as 2. The rest is same. I12 plus R, J12 is equal to Y12, V12. So this is for the branch 1, which is connected between bus 1 and 2. <clears throat> so here we can replace it by Y1 because I have represented this branch as branch 1 this branch that is whose admittance is y23 is branch 2 this branch which is admittance is y34 is branch 3 similarly branch 4 and branch 5 we can say that its admittance is y12 or sometimes we can say directly as y1 that is i have written it like this so i1 is plus i2 so i can write as this this is i 1 2 that is the current flowing from this uh, bus 1 to bus 2 i can replace this one two and place the number of branch that is the branch current plus the source current of the branch one is equal to admittance of the branch one multiplied by the voltage of branch one instead of nodes i have simply replaced this node node notation or bus notation by the branch notation so similarly for branch two it will be i2 plus g2 is equal to y2 v2 i3 plus j3 is equal to y3 v3 
i4 plus g4 is equal to y4 v4 i5 plus g5 is equal to y5 v5 so in terms of branch voltage i can re this represent it like this because i want to uh, show it in the matrix form this is y1 v1 plus because there is no v2 to v5 i can represent them in terms of multiplication of zeros similarly i2 plus g2 like 0 v1 plus 5 v2 like this and this equation can be represented by this this and this now these equations can be represented by the matrix form this is the column matrix i this is the column matrix j this is uh, this y matrix into v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 and also we, uh, we can replace the y1 because y1 is the admittance uh, of the line connected between bus 1 and 2 you can represent it by the bus notation or by the branch notation so but keep in mind this is not the y bus this is known as bus incidence matrix because it only it only represents these currents that is the branch actual branch current plus source current actually i is here and j i have taken it at this place i have uh, first tried the j and then i wrote i so this is not a y bus because y bus relates the current injected in the bus that is the bus currents and bus voltages but these are not the bus currents and these are not the bus voltages these are the branch currents and these are the branch voltages so by doing this representing them in the compact matrix form this will be i plus j is equal to y into v so i you can see it is 5 cross 1 matrix this is also 5 cross 1 matrix this is 5 cross 5 matrix this is 5 plus 1 matrix so these are all depending upon the number of branches for 5 branch system it will be like this for b branch system its order will be b cross 1 its order will be b cross 1 its order will be b cross b and its order will be b cross 1 now if there is mutual coupling which is very important let us say it is between uh, line number 5 and line number 3 you can see this y bus incident matrix is usually a diagonal matrix if there is no mutual coupling but if there is mutual coupling you will see at uh, the element 5 3 it will be ym let's say mutual admittance is given by ym and 3 5 sorry this is 3 5 and this is 5 3 there we have to place the mutual admittance value like this otherwise it will be always be a diagonal matrix so when the mutual impedance is there we can have 1 2 1 2 will be placed at this point at this point we can have 2 and 4 2 and 4 can be placed at this point and 4 2 at this point at this point sorry so with these considerations to be taken into account uh, we can calculate y bus whether we have mutual impedance or whether we don't have mutual impedance because when we don't have the mutual impedance it is very easy to go for the direct inspection method instead of this incidence matrix and some bus incidence matrix let us try to do uh, some more calculation how to calculate vibers because i told you that this is not the vibers this is the bus incidence matrix now relationship between branch voltage and node voltages from here this branch voltage will be simply v1 minus v2 we can write it in terms of different other voltage also this will be in minus v2 plus 0 v3 plus 0 v4 similarly vb2 is v2 minus v3 and then in terms of other voltage as well vb3 is this v3 minus v4 v4 this is actually v4 minus v3 because i have assumed current to be in this direction i think same has been done earlier also no the current directions are given now so the current direction is like this it is i have then written as like this minus v3 plus v4 and in terms of other voltage also like this so vb4 is v4 minus v1 it's like this and vb5 is that is this v4 minus v2 so the voltage difference is dependent upon the direction of this current which we have assumed this is actually pure this direction is pure based on the assumption when you draw the circuit assume randomly the direction of the current in the lines and then as per that direction you will have the voltage relationship so this voltage relationship is based on the current direction but the current direction is assumed to be uh, random but when you assume and then the voltage relationships will be as per the direction.
so you have to take care this after assuming a direction you have already done, done this then we do some kcl or other we assume the direction of the current randomly and then find the voltage relationship as per that direction so as per now changing them into the matrix form as we are doing it quite frequently so vb1 that is this matrix will be a column matrix of 5 plus 1 because we have 5 branches now you can see we have only 4 voltages so it will be 1 minus 1 0 0 0 1 minus 1 0 as per this v1 v2 v3 v4 here there will be only 4 columns because of 4 volt bus voltages so the this matrix will have on uh, the order of 5 cross 4 and this will be 4 cross 5 so in general for uh, for a system having number of branches b and a number of buses n this vector will have an order of b cross 1 this vector will have an order of b cross n and this vector will have order of n cross 1 this is the bus voltage vector this bus voltage vector i have named this as a this vector as a now instead of writing this voltages uh, by writing this equation and then finding this matrix again here are two steps we can do this by uh, directly by one step by assuming one common rule which is applicable to th this type of a circuit which will directly give you a in that case what is done the matrix a is a rectangular matrix you can see rectangular means it is uh, order is not it is not a square matrix order is not n into n it is uh, p into n that means number of columns and number of rows are not same that's why it is rectangular and hence singular its elements are found as per the following rules instead of going to the voltage relationships we can directly calculate it as uh, elements aik is the element of this a matrix if ith element is incident to this incident means it is connected to and oriented away from the kth node we first see this ith element that is branch element means branch if this is connected to the kth node and it is oriented away and in that case this aik is taken to be equal to one if ith element or branch is connected to the kth bus but it is oriented towards the kth bus then it is taken to be minus one so if ith bus is not incident to the kth bus that means if this branch is not connected to this uh, kth bus it will be equal to zero this aik will be equal to zero you can see it from here i have calculated it again from from these rules this uh, the number of columns will be represented by the number of lines the number of row sorry number of rows will be represented by number of lines that's what i have written as lines here and number of buses will represent the number of columns that's why the order of this matrix a will be b cross n now this element will be aik where i is the i is equal to 1 k is equal to 1 that is line 1 and bus 1 this is line 1 which i have already represented and this is bus 1 you can see the relation it is this line 1 is connected to bus 1 and it is oriented away from the bus 1 that's why it is equal to its element will be equal to 1 now this is line 1 this is bus 2 you can see it here line 1 and bus 2 they are connected to each other and this line 1 is oriented towards bus 2 its value will be equal to minus 1 this is line 1 this is bus 3 line 1 and bus 3 this line 1 is not connected to bus 3 it will be 0 similarly line 1 bus 4 they are not connected to each other so it will be also equal to 0 similarly for line 2 that is this line and bus 1 you can see line 1 and bus 1 they are not connected its element will be equal to 0 line 1 sorry line 2 and bus 2 line 2 bus 2 they are connected yes they are connected and this line 2 is oriented away from the bus 2 so it will be equal to 1 similarly this will be line 2 and this will be bus 3 line 2 bus 3 they are connected yes they are connected so what is the orientation orientation of the line 2 is towards the bus 3 so it will be equal to minus 1 similarly line 2 and bus 4 line 2 and bus 4 they are not connected so in that case it will be um, 0 because they are not connected so, 
Similarly, for other branches, you can directly take, uh, calculate it for other branches. You will see that when we calculate this A and this A, you will see they are identical. They are difficult. So instead of going this way, calculating the voltages of the branch and then the node voltages and then writing them in terms of these matrix and calculate A from this matrix, we directly calculate the A matrix by these by the simple rules like this. So, okay. Now from here, this is very important. This VB that is branch voltage and the node voltage or bus voltage are related by this A matrix. The branch voltage is equal to this A into bus voltage. I will write down this equation again, this equation again, that is I plus J is equal to Y uh, into V where this is the branch voltage. I have written it again over here. I plus J is equal to Y into B, where Y B is Y into V B, where Y B is the branch voltage vector. But V B, that is branch voltage vector, is A into V. You can see it over here. Branch voltage vector is called A into V, where V is the bus voltage vector. I just want to convert into bus voltage vector. This is the bus voltage vector. So we can write it as I plus J is equal to Y into A into V. So this is the bus voltage vector. Pre-multiplying the A transfer, we get this A transfer into I plus A transfer into J is equal to A transfer into Y into A into V bus. Okay. Now, let us try to discuss these two components one by one. Each component of the n-dimensional vector A transfer into I is the algebraic sum of the element currents leaving the nodes 1, 2, 3, up to n. Arrange the number of buses. So therefore, the application of KCL must result I transpose into sorry a transpose into i is equal to zero when you multiply this branch currents to this a you will see you will get uh, another vector whose dimensions will be n cross one and each element will be let us say i1 plus i2 plus i3 plus up to i in branch currents that will be finally equal to zero which are leaving the nodes so that's why it, uh, it, it tells us that it should uh, uh, their KCL must result because it is the summation of all the currents at the nodes and in that case it will be equal to it will be in that case equal to zero this a transpose into i similarly for this case this is the source vector similarly each component of the vector this each component means because when we multiply this to this you will get a vector like this we have one two three four five up to n it will be a column vector whose elements will be equal to n for an n branch system for an n bus system and when we get the first element first element will be sum of the all currents which are connected to the bus when the sum of the all which are connected to the bus it will result in zero similarly for this case it can be recognized as the sum of all the source current into the nodes where n is the number of buses or nodes therefore component therefore the bus current as we have seen in the earlier case that i1 i2 i are the injected source currents here this matrix will result in the source current which are injected in the bus so therefore these components therefore are the bus currents so these currents result in the bus current which are injected in the bus so we can write it as i transpose into j is equal to i into bus so this will be like this which we have already calculated so putting this equation in the first that means this will be zero this will be i bus that means i bus will be equal to a transpose y into a into v bus i transpose y into a into v bus since we know that i bus and v bus are related in between by y bus that means this multiplication must be equal to y bus that is y bus into v bus where y bus in this case is equal to a transpose y into a so here we have calculated the this is an important result how to calculate this uh, y bus uh, of a system we need uh, we just have to calculate a and y y will be the diagonal matrix if there is a no mutual coupling diagonal matrix and it will represent uh, and we know that this the order of y will be equal to b into b that is the number of branches into number of branch and diagonal elements will be the branch which are uh, which admittance uh, of the branches uh, and a is calculated by this rule which we have already discussed by this rule 
and for the calculating a we have to assume that current direction in every branch so let us try to do it for the same system calculate y bus for this system by direct inspection we know what will be its y bus we'll calculate that also but first we'll try to calculate the y bus assuming no mutual coupling so that will be easier uh, to us uh, it will be easy to us to compare its uh, y bus which we have calculated with the direct inspection and by this bus entrance matrix method so for that we have we know uh, as you know mutual coupling we know what is its value of the y the diagonal matrix having each admittance matrix placed at the diagonals of this matrix and there are other zeros other elements will be zeros upper triangle and upper triangle and this will be a so first we'll calculate multiplication of y into a when we calculate this y into 1 plus others will be 0 it will be y1 y1 into minus 1 others will be because this will be multiplied by this and then this will be multiplied by this since all elements are 0 it will be minus y1 and then 0 and 0 because this will be multiplied by this and then others will be 0 because of these four zeros similarly this will be multiplied by this and others will be 0 so this will be 0 so by inspection we can calculate simply this this y1 will be for the first row for this case will be equal to this will be y1 minus 1 and then 0 this will be 0 y2 minus y2 0 it will be 0 0 minus y3 y3 y4 0 0 y4 sorry minus y4 0 0 y4 0 minus y5 0 0 it will be multiplied like this you can simply try to multiply it on your own you will get this matrix and this is 5 cross 5 this is 5 cross 4 this will also be 5 cross 4 so after calculating this we need to multi pre multiply it with by a transform we'll first calculate a transpose a transpose is this a transpose is this when we multiplied it you can get 1 into y1 is y1 0 into 0 0 into 0 minus 1 into minus y4 it will be plus y4 and then 0 into 0 this will be first element similarly you can calculate other element you can 1 into minus 1 will be minus 5 1 0 into this 0 0 into this 0 minus 1 into 0 0 0 into minus 5 it will be 0 similarly y14 is this one into zero it will be zero zero into zero it will be zero zero into y3 it will be zero minus one into minus y4 it will be y4 and zero into y5 will be zero so total summation will be only minus y4 so y3 i uh, i think this element i have shown it slightly wrong one into zero will be zero zero into y2 will be zero 0 into y3 will be 0, minus 1 into 0 will be 0, 0 into 0 will be 0, so it will be 0. Similarly, you can calculate other other elements as well. I will show you the last one, which is first this y22, that means this column, this row in this column. Minus 1 into minus 5, and it will be y1. 1 into y2, it will be y2 plus, these two will be 0 then, minus 1 into y5, it will be y5, it will be this element will be y1 plus y2 plus y5 similarly last one that is this row this column first 0 into 0 it will be 0 plus 0 into 0 it will be 0 1 into y3 will be y3 1 into y4 will be y4 and 1 into y5 will be y5 that is y3 plus y4 plus y5 so by direct inspection you can calculate i have written it like this y11 will be equal to y1 that is this admittance plus this admittance that is this you can see it from here y12 will be equal to minus times of this that is minus y1 which is minus y1 y13 one three it is not connected to be zero y14 is this that is minus y14 minus y14 y21 will be same y22 is the total admittance connected by 2 that is y1 plus 5 2 plus 5 5 you can see that is here so y23 is admittance connected between 2 and 3 that is minus y2 minus y2 and y24 y24 is the uh, admittance connected between 2 and 4 that is minus y5 similarly you can calculate and you will see that y bus calculated by this will be same but keep in mind that this is only uh, done when there is a mutual coupling if there is mutual coupling there is no need to calculate 
why bus in this way because it is slightly complicated as compared to the direct inspection method i hope you have understood it thank you